Now for our dinosaur of the day, Akira Raptor, which is one of the four playable Saurian dinosaurs, and their other playable dinosaurs include T-Rex, Triceratops, and Pachycephalosaurus. The name Akira Raptor comes from Akiran, the river of pain in the underworld in ancient Greek mythology. Then they named it because it was found in the Hell Creek Formation. And then Raptor is Latin for robber, which is a common name used for other dromaeosaurids. Akira Raptor is a dromaeosaurid. And they shortened the name Akiran so that it would sound better with Akira Raptor instead of Akira Raptor. Akira Raptor lived in the late Cretaceous. Again, it was found in the Hell Creek Formation in Montana. The holotype specimen was found in 2009 by commercial fossil hunters, and then it was purchased by the Royal Ontario Museum from a private collector. It was described and named by David C. Evans, Derek W. Larson, and Philip J. Curry in 2013. In their paper, A New Dromaeosaurid, Dinosauria Theropoda, with Asian Affinities from the Latest Cretaceous of North America in Nature Wissenschaften. There is one species, it's Achiroraptor temertiorum, and the name temertiorum is for husband and wife James and Louise Temerty, and James is the chairman of Northland Power and the Royal Ontario Museum Board of Governors. Achiroraptor is known from an almost complete maxilla with teeth and an associated dentary, which is basically jawbones, the holotype is the nearly complete right maxilla, but there is also a nearly complete left dentary, the anterior bone of the lower jaw, which is possibly from the same individual, but it's not confirmed. It might be from two individuals. Akira raptor had a long snout and dagger-like teeth and was probably covered in feathers. It was bipedal, about 10 feet or 3 meters long, and weighed about 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. Saurian has some beautiful concepts of Akira Raptor, and you can find examples all over the website, plus an animated GIF that shows the process of a sketch of Akira Raptor, which is the result of their nine hour long live stream session. And according to Saurian, Akira Raptor is completely covered in feathers and has a dark greenish body with white feathers on its legs, light brown feathers on the tail and arms. It has large eyes and menacing teeth, and it's very bird like. And of course, it has the sickle claw. Akira Raptor is also the first playable Saurian dinosaur released to the public. It won't fly, but according to them, may, quote, fall with style. You can see a video of Akira Raptor on the Saurian website in action. It's walking, running, eating, ruffling its feathers, jumping, and gliding. And what's interesting about Akira Raptor is the discovery of it. It gives a lot of information about dinosaurs in North America in the late Cretaceous. Uh, according to the paleontologist who named it, it shows there was possibly a decline in raptor diversity at the time. Because the Chiroraptor is so closely related to Asian species, also from the late Cretaceous, this suggests that there were migrations from Asia until the end of the Cretaceous. And a Chiroraptor is the only dromaeosaurid from the Hell Creek Formation, according to the three paleontologists who described it. This means that the teeth previously found of Dromaeosaurus and Sornitholestes are now considered to be a Chiroraptor. There's other theropods, just not dromaeosaurids from the Hell Creek Formation, and in general, some other dinosaurs you can find in the Hell Creek Formation include tyrannosaurids, ornithomimids, ornithischians, ceratopsians, and hadrosaurs. Akira raptor is the geologically youngest known dromaeosaurid species. It's considered to be a velociraptorine, which is a subfamily of dromaeosauridae, and it's more closely related to Asian dromaeosaurids, such as velociraptor than others from North America. Dromaeosaurids are carnivorous theropods closely phylogenetically related to apes, which is a clad that includes birds. They probably originated before the late Jurassic, but the fossil record so far is only of the Cretaceous. They lived all over the world, but there are not that many fossils. And dromaeosaurids from the late Cretaceous in North America have an especially poor fossil record. They're known mostly from isolated teeth. In North America, only eight species have been named, and these are, again, based on incomplete fossils, fossil remains. They're often referred to as raptors, because of Jurassic Park. And dromaeosaurids had S-curved necks, long arms, and large hands with large claws. Their feet had a recurved claw on the second toe, called a sickle claw. And this claw may have been used for slashing, climbing, or even clawing through insect nests. At least some of them may have lived in groups. Most, if not all, had feathers. And they were bipedal, but when they were walking or running, they held their second toe off the ground. They had long tails that may have been used to help counterbalance and they were generally small to medium-sized, though some were large, like Utah Raptor, and some could fly or glide, like Chengyu Raptor Yang Yi, and they were very bird-like. This is based on both their behavior and the fact that they had feathers.